I don't know about you, but my week of hunting was interesting, I guess you'd say. I felt like I really didn't do any good, but now that I'm at the end of the week looking back on it, I actually found some nice pieces and I found some things that I'd been looking for. So I'd call that a success. With the way my week went, I thought it would be better off just kind of taking a look at all my finds together on the tabletop here. So we're just going to go ahead and get into the cars. I will say that these are going to go in the order in which I found them. So starting off with this Fast and Furious Series 1 set, and I may be cheating a little bit here. I think I might have actually found these last week, but within the last week, we have had two sidekickers of these at my local Walmart. Now, my Walmart didn't get these on the initial wave. I had to go to another store to get them. So I've already picked these up, but interesting that we're getting these kind of this late in the game. But I did pick up several of these Eclipses. If you know me, you know I absolutely love this car. It's a great casting. And this one is super popular right now. So uh, be on the lookout for that if you haven't got one yet. These are kind of hard to get. And while I'm thinking about it, these are from last year. Uh, there was also a box set released that has a lot of these cars in it. But I find myself, now that we have this new Silver Series out, wishing that this set had the newer uh, wheels from the Silver Series because there's some really great castings here. And I will say, like for what they had available at the time, I think they did a good job with the wheels. But I'd really like to see what they could do with the new wheel styles that they have available, especially for this price point, because these are now selling for the current rate, which what is almost $4 a car, which is kind of outrageous. But either way, you have this 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse. You have the 70 Dodge Hemi Challenger, which to be honest with you, I, I like the Challenger. I think this casting is a little underwhelming. The car was really cool in the movie, and I didn't pick this up on the first run, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and get one. I was really just kind of hoping they'd come out with it in premium, and I'd pick it up there. But either way, I'm not upset about it. Nissan Silvia S15, super nice casting here, the Mona Lisa. Uh, absolutely love this. I picked up a few extras of these. I might try to do some customs with that. Not sure yet. And picked up Toyota Supra. I was kind of on the fence about picking up multiples of these because I've had multiple multiples before and used them for trade bait. Thought I might do some customs with them, but I just never really got around to it. And anyway, when I went back to the store, all the Supras were gone. So either way, pretty cool pickups there. Up next, we have Neon Speeder's 95 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Surprise, surprise. Kind of an interesting story here with these. So the wife and I went on a little bit of a road trip earlier this week and we ended up doing quite a bit of peg hunting actually, which is something that we really haven't been able to do together much, but we had a really good time. And so normally when I've found these sets in stores, I've found several places where they've had full sets of the neon speeders, except for the Eclipse. It's the only car gone out of the set. So I was really surprised when we showed up and these four cars are basically the only thing that they had out of the Neon Speeder set. So I went ahead and picked them up because I like the casting. It's been hard to find. And, you know, I have intentions of doing some customs with this, but we'll see how that goes. Now, I will say that they had a Skyline and we I wasn't going to pick it up, but the wife wanted to. She's actually been making some bows lately and she's starting out with some Hot Wheels material. So... She's going to kind of try to incorporate some castings in doing that. So I'll roll in some footage here so you can kind of see what she's been working with. On that same trip, she ended up wanting to pick up this Dodge D100. Uh, I had seen this, and I do. I think it's a really nice casting. They had some interesting colors on this, but uh, she just she's kind of a truck fan, and she really liked the color on that one, so we picked that one up. And I've seen this a lot of places, and to be honest with you, a lot of my regular places have got extra shipments of this uh, set in this week. Still haven't found that number six chase, but uh, I, that's why I've not really picked up any of the other cars in this set. But I really like this one. I keep seeing it and thinking, man, that's just a nice looking cast, and I want to pick that up. So I just went ahead and bit the bullet and did it. I love the black with these wheels. I think these wheels are just, they make this car a lot of detail here. Love that they painted the stethoscope in the back. If you're not familiar with that, this is a Ryu Asada casting. Uh, Mr. Asada passed away, and uh, but this is just kind of was a tribute to his doctor because I believe this was the car that his doctor drove. So just a really nice little Easter egg. Ryu had some great castings, a great legacy with Hot Wheels. So if you're not familiar with him, 
be sure to look that up and see some of the castings. You probably have some in your collection that you may not even know he created. Also on this trip, I was very surprised to find that they had several sets of this Boulevard set. Of course, let's see what was missing. Uh, the Accord was gone, but they had otherwise full sets. Uh, I'm just not a super big fan of this Angler Eraser for some reason. Uh, you know, normally it seems like that's something that I would like. I just, I just can't get into it. I think the casting, just something about it's not really done very well to me. And this Porsche 935, normally I like that casting, but something about the coloration and just the execution on that one, not crazy about it either. But I absolutely love these, and uh, you know I'm definitely a sucker for this color scheme on the Celica. But I think this one's very underrated. I've not seen much hype about this one at all. It's a great looking casting. I love the color on it. Love just the little details and the tampos on it. I think it's really super nice. Probably my favorite out of the set. So I was happy to find that. Uh, which reminds me, I'll probably be doing a premium Smasher Pass video coming up. So be sure to be looking out for that. Especially if you saw the last one and liked it. We'll be doing that coming up pretty soon. If you're not seeing it, it's just basically where I go through the castings I have and decide whether I'm going to keep them or not. Will be an interesting one, so be sure to check that out when it pops up. And rounding out that trip, we were getting ready to leave, and I walked by a dump bin, noticed there was some Monster Jam in it, and we really didn't pay much attention because we were like literally on our way out. And just noticed, you know, your standard castings, Grave Digger, Megalodon. And I'm not a huge Monster Jam collector, but we have several Grave Diggers, we have several Megalodons. But I just happened to notice this setting in the dump bin funny and saw this little mini right as I walked by it. And I thought, well, I've not seen that before. Checked it out, and like I said, this is my first time seeing these packages. Some of you may have seen them already. I have no idea if they're new or if they've been out for a while. But I thought, you know what, I'm definitely going to pick a few of those up. And uh, my little boy really likes Megalodon, so if he's seeing this video, uh, it's a good chance that he's going to be like, hey, uh, where is that? I want to open that and play with it. But uh, there's a couple more in this set, El Toro Loco, and I can't remember the name of this one. It's the Mutt Cut truck is what I'm going to call it. But overall, you know, it's a nice little mini set. Uh, kind of gimmicky, definitely castings that most people probably already have, but uh, definitely like the little minis. Ran into some cool little pickups at Kroger this week as well. Power grabs were on sale the other day when I was there. So these are the ones I was super interested in. Not going to open these up because most of these are for somebody else that uh, is really into Fords that I'm friends with. I will say that I saw these carded and they're really nice. Love the color on this F-150 here. Just a really cool pickup overall. Just I'm glad that they did that truck, just period. This 35 Ford pickup in the Moon Eyes, I saw it carded the other day. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to get that because I have that in a five pack. Well... When I got home and got to looking for it, I realized that it wasn't the 35, it is the 32 Coupe. So, a little bit different there. Interesting that they put both of those out at the same time. So, now I'm going to have to go back and try to find this. I think I did actually pick up an extra power grab, so I may just uh, keep that one and open it. But, really cool looking pickup truck there. Of course, we have the Bronco Sport. This one, a lot of you have probably seen in cartered form as well. But, you know, to me, this is just like the kind of the flagship color and model of the new Bronco. So SpaceX, you know, normally I'm just not super crazy about some of these castings, but I thought it was cool to find it in a power grab. So I wanted to go ahead and pick that up. And I have seen that in the airplanes that they have the Falcon rocket, I think. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for that as well. Morris Minor Saloon. I couldn't remember if I had seen this or not in carded. Uh, turns out I saw it after the fact, and yes, I had. I think that the card art on this car looks a lot better than the actual car itself. But either way, you know, it's cool. I'm, if you know me, I'm a sucker for the matchbox and the actual boxes. So I'm never really going to be that mad at myself for picking up a power grab. But either way, uh, also, if you haven't checked out these five packs, this is in another peg hunting video that I did, the target peg hunting video. This one is just super nice. Just going to throw that in there. Really, absolutely love that five pack. Matchbox has got some nice five packs out lately. I think they've been coming out with some really good stuff. I know Hot Wheels, you know, is obviously much more popular, but man, Matchbox just has some really nice castings, especially this year. I've found a lot that I really like. I think in that same trip, I also picked up a couple of these custom 68 Camaros. Probably one of my favorite castings from last year, and again, something that I would like to do some customs with, but just absolutely love this car. 
happy to see it and kind of reminds me of another one that we're going to look at here in just a minute all right so we had to zoom the camera out just a little bit for this next one because it's a little bit bigger you know i had a really good target run last week this week not so much but I was looking for some more of these pullback speeders. The store that I thought I would find them at didn't have them, but Target did. A full set, and it's actually a different set than I knew we were going to have. I did a short on this the other day, so be sure to check that out if it's something you're interested in. I know a lot of you might not care about these because they're not 164, but I do think it's interesting. And, you know, I'll, I'll be truthful. I like these. I think they're cool. I don't think that they'll go over all that great, but they are much better than like the pullback racers that they have. Definitely a whole other level of detail. Uh, you know, these have interiors. They're basically just like an enlarged version of the 164 scale car. So we have the 69 Ford Mustang here. Almost has the same style as the custom 68 Camaro. Uh, you know, kind of like a Mad Max vibe with this Japanese theming. You can see we have the twin turbos here coming out from under the hood. It has an opening hood. Only thing I really don't like about this one is the wheel choice. Uh, definitely, you can tell that it's got plasticky wheels. Wish they'd have went chromed out, blacked out, something. But I do like the coloration on here and the overall, you know, just deco. I think it's really cool. I will say they've changed the boxes on these. It looks like in between this and the other wave um let's see where's this box at bought the muscle and blown at kroger a few weeks ago so you can see that this is just you know kind of is what it is whereas with this new box looks like they're trying to theme it kind of like the 164 scale car so this is one of three in muscle mania heavy hitcher for whatever reason is in night burners uh, and it's one of three. I did think this was a really cool casting, though. I, I can't wait to pop this open and take a closer look at it. Got some really cool wheels on it. So, like I said, they've just got some cool cars. There's a lot of detail there. Uh, you know, on this Muscle and Blown, you know, not one of my favorite. I, I do like the casting, but not obviously going to be my first choice. But you can see, for the price point, I mean, these are like $7, $8 cars. They've got quite a bit of detail. And the good thing about it is, you know, I think the paint's good. A lot of interior, even though it's chrome, there's still a lot of detail there. Wheels look nice. At first, I thought these had rubber wheels, but they're not. They're plastic, but uh, they look like they're easy to take apart. So you could, you know, take them apart, do some paint work on them, things like that if you wanted to. But overall, they're nice looking cars, nice to display. Especially if you, you know, like the Evo and you can find it. There's a Porsche, a Camaro. So they do have some real cars. If you're a super big fan of those, definitely worth looking into for the price point. I think they're really nice. And I almost forgot I was getting ready to leave Target. Just happened to look over and see something Jurassic World. I'm honestly not a super huge fan of these Racerverse vehicles. I think they're overpriced. And even this one was overpriced, even though it was on sale. But I did think it was cool that it was Jurassic World. We're... Uh, Kind of Jurassic Park fans around here. My little boy absolutely loves those movies. Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Has an Owen character driving a Jeep, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, the dinosaurs that come with it. It does have a Dilophosaurus, which is probably going to be like a fan favorite, if anything. Uh, but it doesn't have like Blue. doesn't have a T-Rex. You know, it has Allosaurus. And then I think this is Charlie the uh, Raptor. So... Kind of an interesting mix there. I guess pretty much what you'd expect from a four-pack. Although, there is a really nice Mario Kart four-pack that we're going to take a look at sometime soon. That actually has all good castings in it if you're into Mario Kart. But, went ahead and picked that up. Thought it would, uh, you know, just be an interesting piece to kind of add to our collection. And rounding out my pickups for the week. Something that I really didn't expect to find. This Renault Sport RS01. Not that I didn't expect to find a super treasure hunt, just didn't expect to find one that had been out for this long. So I found this in a Kroger dump bin, and to be honest with you, this Kroger is usually picked pretty clean. They don't have much, but uh, noticed that it looked like they might have had a fresh case in on this, so I just went ahead and kept looking, and lo and behold, about halfway through the big dump bin, there it was. Card's actually in pretty decent shape, surprisingly, so I don't think anybody had really looked through it since it got dumped out. Found the treasure hunt as well, obviously. I think this is one that a lot of people really don't know is a treasure hunt. And honestly, a lot of people, unless you're just a treasure hunt collector, 
A lot of people probably didn't care so much about this one, but I think it's cool. Honestly, I never was able to get this one last year, so it's a nice pickup. And I think the regular version is actually pretty nice, but man, when you see it next to this, excellent. And I'm not a super huge fan of Spectre Flame. And to be honest with you, anymore, just super treasure hunts in general, I think they're fun to find. But the actual castings themselves, I just don't enjoy them all that much. Not as much as you would think. But this one is super nice. These wheels are just kind of odd. I, I don't know what it is with these wheels. I I can't decide if I like them or not. They're, they're very interesting, though. Very interesting. But uh, even the black on here is different than the regular version. It's more of a matte finish. So super nice looking paint job on that. Absolutely love that. Great pickup. Very surprised to find it. And definitely, you know, added a nice little cap to the end of an interesting hunting week. So hopefully the upcoming week we'll find some more awesome finds. And I hope that y'all found some great finds as well. If you want to see some of the actual peg hunting videos, there should be a couple popping up on your screen here. Be sure to check those out. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the other things we're coming up with, like the Smasher Pass video and some of the Mario Kart stuff. Got a lot of things coming up. Hope y'all have a good weekend. Find some great stuff. And happy hunting, y'all.